when the dean asked me to give this talk, he said that it served as a centerpiece for Bank Street orientation for the new year. It was setting a tone for the year, and he said that um, people at Bank Street were interested in my research and my advocacy. I can't tell you what that means to me. Uh, advocacy is a dirty word in most education circles today. People are scared of it. They, um, they really don't want to hear about advocacy. Uh, I, I considered wearing my band in California t-shirt. Some years back, the State Board of Education in California decided that anybody giving a professional development workshop for teachers would have to submit everything that they were going to say, uh, copies of all overhead transparencies, um, bibliographies of any books they might mention to the teachers, and these would have to be screened by a committee from the Board of Education. So about 20 of us from around the country who had published quite a bit and who had some reputation for knowing something about education uh, applied. And I took this very seriously. I sent the California State Board of Education 27-page 20, application for a workshop entitled um, Using Riddle Books to Enhance the Vocabulary of Third Graders. <laughs> now, I knew what the reaction was going to be, but um, uh, of us 20 people, uh, submitting things on a very wide variety of topics, we all got identical rejection letters. Mm -hmm. And so we had these t-shirts made and we wore them to the uh, International Reading Association Convention in Anaheim. And now that sort of control over what teachers will hear, see, read, or teach, has gone universal with our current uh, Department of Education. In California, to name one state, professors of reading have to submit their syllabus to the state panel to prove that they're teaching read the scientific reading process. So I, you know, I use that as kind of an introduction to explain to you why I'm so honored to be here. Um, I'm honored because the Bank Street founder, Lucy Sprague Mitchell, said she wasn't interested in any kind of education theory or practice that didn't reach into the public schools and help them. She said that democracy is only successful when everybody participates. And I'm honored to be here because Barbara Biber said that we should care about the emotional development of children as well as their intellectual development. And that we should encourage their curiosity and their uh, responsibility to others. Support their imagination. These kind of words no longer exist in many public schools. <coughs> Eight years ago, I set up a website hoping to be an advocate for bringing these kind of words back into the discourse about public education. 